Hello all, Shadwell here, ready to talk about the next film in my collection, Batman and Robin from 1997. It's the fourth and final film in the Batman collection, is directed by Joel Schumacher, and stars Arnold Schwarzenegger and George Clooney. I have a lot to get through in this review, so I don't have time to talk about crediting Schwarzenegger over Clooney. Instead, I want to start by saying that Mr. Freeze is an improvement in villain over Two-Face, because at least with Mr. Freeze, we get to see his evolution from a good man into a supervillain. Villain. Granted, it wasn't an exposition dump in the guise of security camera footage, but there it is. You know, if I was a big studio head in a reality where 1989's Batman and its sequel, Batman Returns, didn't exist and Joel Schumacher came to me and said, Remember that campy 60s Batman show? Well, I want to make a film that's kind of in that vein. A callback, if you will. An homage, perhaps. I'd say, yeah, that sounds like something I can get behind. However, in our reality, I'd say, why would you want to take what people worked so hard to iron out in 1989 and 1992 and shit all over it with neon and bat nipples? Uh, also in this conversation, he had mentioned the bat suit nipples to me. And that's how I feel about Batman and Robin. It would be just fine in a world where the 1989 and 1992 films didn't exist. Those beautiful, dark, and gothic works of art got traded in for bat nipples. Let's see how much more I can fit in this review. Mr. Freeze is an improvement in villain, but I hate the first run-in that just goes from one outlandish thing to an increasingly outlandish thing to an even more increasingly er outlandish thing that by the end your eyes hurt because you've been rolling them so hard at the overall scenario. The brush with mortality that Alfred has throughout the film is sad and almost makes my cold heart feel something if it didn't feel more like a scenario shoehorned in an abrasion attempt to emotionally manipulate me. And speaking of shoehorned, horned in. The whole Batgirl subplot feels very tacked on because the only thing it adds to the experience is the runtime. And of course, Bruce Wayne and Batman smiling or constantly smirking was not your best acting choice, Mr. Clooney. But I do appreciate you actually making one, unlike Val Kilmer did in the previous film. Shit, I'm running out of time. Uh, the Save the Rainforest Banquet feels like I'm witnessing a hate crime? Maybe not that severe, but you get where I'm going. I'm giving Batman and Robin an F+, because at least the titular characters make for good eye candy. Tomorrow we watch another 50 to Crepa Crypt of Nightmares movie. This time it's prehistoric bimbos in Armageddon City. Gotta have pity on us all. See y'all then.